If we travel north along the west coast, we come to a very different type of ocean floor. Following the underwater tracks of the manta rays and sea eagles, we enter the warm tropical waters which everyone thinks of as rich in life forms, but which in reality hide great surprises which we are going to discover. by little turns to turquoise. We are in a transition zone between the two types of water. The strength of the waves is broken by the first corals that protect warmer, calmer waters. bacteria that break down the organic material rapidly reproduce in these waters which are warm but still receive the gift from the Antarctic. Matter is deposited while the energy of the sun gives rise to an atmosphere very similar to that which existed at the time when life on earth was just beginning. Shark Bay, these strange forms bear the mark of a decisive moment in the history of our planet. They are called stromatolites and their structure is the result of enormous groups of cyanobacteria, greenish-blue bacteria which, if there is plenty of sunlight, produce oxygen from the water. This may seem like just one more natural process, but if we consider they've been doing this for 3,500 million years, we will realize that they represent the origin of the evolution of all existing animals. From just water and light, they filled the atmosphere with breathable oxygen. Without them, we would not be here. In this area, the cyanobacteria produce a sticky mucus which traps the particles of sand. This structure is then strengthened by calcium carbonate carried in the seawater. 